Mob Gang, Mob Masquerade, Mia's Mob, all the above. It's your girl Mia, back at, <laughs> back at it. Now I told you earlier we were gonna cook neck bones. I was gonna make me some neck bone soup. As you can see, my neck bones are here. I'm gonna make sure you see them. I got celery, onions, bell pepper, and I'm just letting it stew down. I want them good and tender. Make his own broth. Once that gets through making his own broth, I'm gonna add me some mixed vegetables to it. I'm gonna add me some potatoes that I peeled. Just two potatoes, cause I'm the only one eating it. And I'm gonna add me some habanero peppers to it. You know, that's me, I want it spicy. And then I'm gonna add some diced tomatoes with a little ketchup. Maybe a little pinch of hot sauce. Now, that's how I'll do that, but we can go back to that. Now, I've already peeled some potatoes here. They're boiled, this pot is hot. This is be for the whipped potatoes for the meatloaf. Here I have, ooh, that's hot. Here I have kale and mushrooms. This is this would be the green vegetables for those who are having the meatloaf, okay? So, I didn't put any onions in it, because you got to remember, them lanes don't like onions. There's onions in the soup, though, but they ain't put no onions in there, okay? And also, we got the ground beef here. I'm not going to put onions in it because the lanes don't like onions. So usually I put onions, bell pepper, different kinds of seasoning, and eggs. Now this is about five pounds of ground beef. So we're going to make it. I'm going to mix it all together because all I put is seasonings. I'm going to add two eggs. Two eggs. And then some people add oatmeal. I don't need no oatmeal. But some people add oatmeal to bind it together. I don't add it to mine unless I'm doing a large serving. So all I add is bell pepper, onions, seasonings, all kind of different seasonings. My seasonings are already in there. You can't really see it because I'm going to put some more ground beef on top. And I'm going to mix it in real good. Bake it off at 350 for about 30 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes, probably 30 minutes. We want to make sure it's done. Okay. You can tell when it's done. When you slice it and it's like uh, done, like cooked, no medium around, no none of that. You want it done, okay? So what I'm going to do is pause the video for you rookies, giving you time to catch up. I'm going to put this down. I'm going to do that mixture. I'm going to pause this video, give you time to catch up. And then we're going to take those final picks when everything done. So... Get your ground beef together, people. It's gonna be ground beef with potatoes and kale. And Mia's making her own what? Neck bone soup. You can call it shine bone, whatever you wanna call it. It's Mia's damn soup. Mia's way. So, y'all, I'm gonna pause it. And it's your girl Mia. As you can see, no nails. Okay, guys, we're back. Now, once you've mixed everything inside your meatloaf, this is what your meatloaf should look like. You just put it in a loaf pan. You don't have to cover it. You're going to stick it in the oven. You're going to bake it off. That's all you're doing. Now, I didn't add any onions, any bell peppers, because these people in this house are wimps. And Mia loves all of that stuff. They just want the basics. You know, I go over the top. They want the basics. So, Mia did basic meatloaf. So, I won't be eating this. I will be eating this uh, neck bone soup. Okay? Cause this gonna be the bomb. This gonna be the bomb too. Just without that extra pizzazz. Okay, so I'm gonna pause the video again. We're moving on to the next step. We gotta let everything cook a minute. So I'm gonna pause it. Hopefully you got a good picture of that. Okay. That meaty meatloaf. So I'm gonna pause it. Okay, guys, we're back. Everything is done. Of course, we had to wait a good little while because you got to make sure everything is done from the kale. Okay. To my soup. See my soup? Yeah. I'll show y'all this bowl because that's what we're going to eat. Potatoes and meatloaf. So, we're going to fix a quick plate. Show you what your plate should look like. Now, this is his plate because uh, y'all know me. I ain't eating no meatloaf. Yeah. Potatoes, as you can see, kale. Now remember, kale cooks down, so you might think it's a lot, but it's not a lot. That was only one, I think it's like three or four pound bag. 
So Kale cooks down, as you can see. Now they want the meat low. I ain't put nothing in there, nothing. I'm just gonna put in some ketchup on top. I'm gonna get him a piece of this cornbread and I'm gonna put my hands on it. My hands are clean because it's so soft, it's about to break. So, hold on. And this is what your final plate should look like. Kale, potatoes, made from scratch, meatloaf, cornbread. This is our Sunday meal. Well, not mine, theirs. Because I'm going to show you mine, what I'm going to have. Just a piece of cornbread, some of this neck bone soup, this shine bone soup. So here you go. I hope you got a good glimpse of that. I want to make sure everybody got that in there. You know, you can do it. You can do it. Hold on a second. Mia is gonna have this. Simon soup, got your neck bones in there, and your vegetables. You don't need nothing else. I just took two different kinds of vegetables that I bought at the dollar store, honey. You know, chef blend vegetables and some mixed vegetables. And your meat is already in there. I'm gonna eat this with a piece of cornbread. Probably eat about two bowls of this. This is my neck bone soup. Add me some more hot sauce. Hope you can see that. Good picture. And a piece of cornbread. And I hope you guys enjoy. And thanks for tuning in. I got to be careful because it's what? Super hot, baby. Super hot. Now I got to make this pound cake. Y'all have a good evening. Tune in. Please like, subscribe, share, comment. Let your girl Mia know what's going on. How you doing today? And what you got on your table. All right? Have a good one.